Hey there everyone, this is Danielle. As you can see, it's almost 11 o'clock on the 19th of March. I am so excited for Animal Crossing tomorrow. Um, I got a physical release though, so I won't be able to play it until tomorrow afternoon. I'm also working tomorrow, so I can't really stay up to play it anyway. So instead, we're going to be playing another game that I've heard is pretty great, although it's not Animal Crossing. Murder by Numbers here. Um, so basically this is, it's a visual novel in the same sort of vein as Ace Attorney, but it uses nonogram puzzles rather than, like, logical puzzles, I, I guess? It thinks sort of like Professor Layton where it has all these random, random logic puzzles in the game for no particular reason, I think. I haven't played it yet. Um, but yeah, nonograms, they're also known as Picross and uh, Picapics, and there's a bunch of different names, but nonogram is the standard one. Basically, you have a picture hidden, and you have numbers on the side of a grid, and the numbers help you figure out what the picture's supposed to be. Um, we'll see once we start the game. Uh, I was a little um, reluctant to get this, because if you have a look at the uh, sales blurb for it, uh, you can see it says questionable jokes drag queens at the bottom there which are two things that I find a little scary to have in close proximity being you know a trans woman and all that um but apparently the fact that those the, that they by questionable jokes they mean lol we're not good at writing rather than we're making jokes that will offend marginalized people by the sounds of things um I've seen a few like clips from this game of different conversations and stuff, and it looks really great, actually. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm hyped, so let's dive in and have a quick look. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to play, I might, it depends on how, like, much I can get in, maybe a half hour? I don't want to stay up too late, but we'll see. So yeah, I've seen a couple of scenes from this game, I haven't seen any of the actual uh, nonogram gameplay yet, so I'm interested to see what that's like. Use your CPU, locate every clue, make the right connections, and we'll find what's true. Oh my gosh, this song! This is adorable! Oh my goodness. That was an amazing first impression. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to be playing, I believe, as Honor, who is this very pretty lady here. Uh, and I think Scout helps us find the puzzle, puzzles or something. I'm not really sure. Let's have a quick look at the settings. Um, we can change the difficulty down to easy if we want. I don't think I will. Uh, language, you can make it, that's Japanese, that says Nihongo, which is Japanese for Japanese. You can have English or Japanese. Um, text speed, slow, medium, fast, I'll leave it on medium, I'll leave it on English as well, because I can't actually read Japanese, although I could read those three words there. Um, that should do it. I guess I'll leave that on normal difficulty. Um, I do like this kind of puzzle already, so I'm assuming the difficulty is like puzzle difficulties. Let's go new game. Case select. Okay, so I can see four cases. I don't know if this will be like a scrolling thing or if there just are four cases. If there are four, that's fine. Like, um, Ace Attorney 1 and 2 had four cases and that was a good length, so it's probably not a problem that it seems like a small number. Oh my god. Scout's text sound is the same as in Ace Attorney. Oh my goodness. Are they okay? Are you okay, Scout? Oh, puzzle time. The basics of image reconstruction are simple. See that grid? By filling in certain squares, a picture will appear. 
The clues on the side of the grid tell you which squares to fill in. Once you've filled in the right squares, you will complete the image. See how this row has 5 written here? That means that 5 connected squares in this row should be filled in. Since there are 5 squares in the row in total, that means all of them should be filled. Let's fill, let's fill these in now. Alright. Okay, so... You can move with the D-pad, or you can move with the analog as you wish, and if I just... Yeah, and just press A like this to fill it in. See how the clue there went grey? That means you followed that clue properly. Now we're going to introduce the other important part of the image's reconstruction puzzles. Marking squares that must be empty. Take a look at this column. The one clue means that only one square in this column should be filled in. Because one square is already filled, that means none of the others can be. So we should mark these squares with a cross to remind us that they shouldn't be filled in. Mark these four squares with crosses now. Or X's? I don't know. They called it crosses. Uh, do I press B button? Okay, B to add crosses. You can just hold down the button and then move around to fill in lots of stuff, which is nice. I'm guessing if I just... Uh, oh, no, this coin. Yeah, you can just, just hold the stick and just slide down all in one go. Easy peasy. Okay, we're nearly there. This row has a clue of two, which means two connected squares are filled in. Because we put in those X's earlier, there's now only one place where this other square can go. Fill it in now. Now do the same on this row. So yeah, this is just a tutorial to show you how these puzzles work. Um... I should have read that. Oops. Image reconstruction we boil down into these two tasks. Filling in squares that are correct. Placing, placing crosses in squares that cannot be filled in. Or X's, I don't know. One of those things. Hang on, let me just move my chair a little bit. Ah, oh, there we go. That's comfier. Okay. Complete this puzzle. You're right. Uh, let's put an X there. And there. And you can see we have a shape. It's an arrow, I think. Yep, you found right arrow. So yeah, the puzzles will be a lot more complicated than that. Bigger grids, that sort of thing. Oh no, they're all corrupted. What's happened? What's wrong with you, Scout? Oh no. Okay, puzzle time. Overlapping. Next, let's look at a really useful technique called overlapping. This one has a clue of four. Remember, that means that four connected squares should be filled in. Given there are four connected squares and only five possible spaces, that means there are only two possible places this group could go. Look at the three squares in the middle of the row. Notice how no matter where we place this group, these three squares are always filled. That means we can safely fill them in now. Go ahead. Yeah, I already know this stuff. It's kind of weird that it didn't give you an option to skip the tutorial. Given that I imagine most people getting this already like Picross puzzles or nonograms or whatever you want to call them. Good job. This is overlapping. Working out which squares will always be filled in or always empty regardless of where the group goes. Let's try a few more examples. Take a look at this row. This one only has three connected squares, which means there are three possible positions it can be in. Even in this situation, there's an overlapping square, the one in the middle of the row. Fill it in now. Boop. Notice how this row has two number clues. This means that the row has two groups, one of three connected squares and one that is just a single square. Groups must be separated by at least one blank space. So for, so, for example, in this instance, it must go three squares, at least one blank square, and then one final square. Given that there are only five squares in the row, there's only one possible layout that will fit here. Fill in the highlighted squares, and then put a cross in the square we know must be empty. We can do some more overlapping on this column. Given that we already have one of the squares filled in, there are now only two possible places this group can go, and one more overlapping square. Fill in that square now. Did you notice that in the previous case, the last square will never be filled in? Crossing out squares that you know must be empty is as crucial as filling them in, so let's cross that out now. On the subject of crossing things out, notice how the last column has been completed already by following other clues. Cross out all the other squares in this column so you know to keep them blank. Excellent work! Now, use all the techniques you've learned to fit so far to finish this puzzle. Pretty easy. There, there, there. Boop, 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 and boop. Oh, you need to do all the crosses. That's interesting. In a lot of these games, you only have to get like the actual filled-in squares for it to count as done. 
A dog, how cute. Let's try the others. Oh no, more corrupt data. Or data, or however you pronounce it. Two of 13, that's not good. Okay, let's try to bring the visual sensors online. Where am I? Accessing memory. 85% memory corruption? How... what happened? I should try and find a way out. Oh, it's a garbage bag. Wait, does that mean this is a garbage dump? Did someone... throw me away? Oh no! Are you okay, Scout? Choose your difficulty level. Easy. Completed rows are automatically crossed out. Hints are on by default. Normal. No automatic completion of rows. Hints have to be toggled on. Um, I've played this game before, so I'm just gonna go- uh, not this game before, I've played a lot of nonogram games before, so I'm gonna go normal difficulty. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Several hours later. And that's how I discovered the missing murder weapon. It was inside the butler all along. Oh my god, I can't believe- I can't believe I didn't think of that. I couldn't have done it without your help, Detective Oates. After all, someone had to distract that swarm of bees. Haha, <laughs> you're right, we're a great team. It's just lucky we were in the neighbourhood. We'll always be where we're needed, Oates, because wherever there's murder... There's Miss Terry. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> that's adorable. Cut. <laughs> Oh, mystery. Oh, I just got it. <laughs> That's the last of the reshoots, everyone. Great work. I, uh... Enjoy your summer break, okay? Ugh, thank God for that. I hate reshoots. Like, I already nailed it the first time. It's not my fault I'm surrounded by a bunch of talentless idiots. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry, Anna. You're not an idiot. Honor, can I see you in my office real quick? Uh, sure. I'll be right there. Another meeting with the showrunner? I wish he paid that much attention to the real talent around here. Better run along now. Oh, shut up, Becky. <laughs> Keep it together, Honor. Four months until next season. Four months before we talk to her again. Thanks, Becky. Hope you have a great summer. I hope you have a great summer. Ugh, what a suck up. Please, come in. How's it going? Your wife doing okay? M my wife? I, uh, yeah. Yeah, she's fine. Listen, I... This is hard. What's going on, Blake? You know you can tell me anything. It's, uh, it's about your contract. My contract? I don't understand. Wish there was something I could do, but... Wait, are you firing me? This isn't what I wanted, I... You're the showrunner, Blake! Don't act like you've got no choice! No warning? No negotiation? You're supposed to be my friend! Please, Honor, I wish I could explain it, but try. I can't. What about the show? You can't just get rid of Detective Odes, the fans will go crazy. You're telling me, three weeks of hate melts for changing the theme song. But sometimes things come up, unexpected things. I have to do whatever it takes. The network put forward the idea of, uh... A uh, talking poodle a few months back. I might try it out. Animal companions are big right now. Right, replaced by a dog. That's dignified. I know this is, this is coming at a bad time. But get it, Blake. I don't need your sympathy. What I need is for you to have my back like you always used to. But I guess that's not going to happen. This isn't what I wanted, Honor. I swear. I wish I could believe you. Oh no. I 
can't believe this. Four years of hard work and I'm out just like that? What am I supposed to do now? Miss Mizu Mizrahi, sorry. Mizrahi? I'm, I'm probably butchering that, I'm sorry. Ms. Mizrahi, good to see you. Say, you haven't seen any kids running around out here, have you? What do they look like? I'm not exactly sure. Would have checked the CCTV, but no one ever showed me how to work it. It's just, I got a report about kids spraying graffiti on the studio lot. Same thing happened last summer. Oh, but look at me going on. Must have finished filming by now, right? Oh yeah, I'm finished. Like, not coming back finished. What? No way. Yeah, Blake isn't renewing my contract. Oh geez, that's awful. I thought you two were friends. Me too. And what about money? What with your husband being out of the picture? Wasn't this your only income? Gosh, I'd be terrified if it was me. I'm getting stomach ache just thinking about it. I was trying not to think about it, Bill. Oh jeez, I'm sorry. In <laughs> my big mouth. But you'll be fine, Miss Ms. Rahi. I just know it. I'm sure you've got a plan. So far, the plan is go home and find something strong to drink. You take care of yourself, okay? Plenty of people here will be sad to see you go. Me included. Thanks, Bill. Hey, shouldn't you be looking for those kids? Kids? What kids? Oh, right. I, I better go. See you around. Now, where'd I put my car keys? Thought I had them in my handbag somewhere. Uh, I don't know who's talking, so I have no idea what voice to use. Detective Oates? I am not in the mood to sign autographs right now. Oates isn't my name, I'm just an actress, and this really isn't a good time. But I need your help, Detective Justin Actress. I'm not a detective, could you please just... <gasps> You're not a fan? Well, what are you? I am Scout. Is this some kind of prank? Processing. Prank. A practical joke. A deception. No, I'm not a prank. I am Scout. <laughs> Adorable. Cute little robot. Alright, where's the hidden camera? I'm equipped with a digital imaging device, if that's what you mean. It isn't hidden, but it may be hard to see from where you're standing. Do you have any other questions? Listen, this is real clever. Hilarious, really. But I've had a bad day and I'm not in the mood. Unless you can find my car keys, I suggest you get lost. I can help you find your keys. I can find anything. Activating object identification mode. Puzzle start. Okay, we're looking for car keys. <laughs> uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so... We can mark there. the key? You found car key? Puzzle complete. No assist bonus. There, it's in your bag. That's not my car key. That's a tampon. Oh, tampon. Made from absorbent material. <laughs> oh, whoops. It went ahead. I know what it is, I just don't know how this is supposed to help me open my car. Oh, yes, sorry, I'm detecting multiple faults in my object recognition systems, and... And I really have to be going. Wait, I still need your help. I told you, I'm not a real detective. Hell, I'm not even a fake one anymore. What could you possibly want me to help you with? I don't remember. Great. Well, good luck with that. Now get lost, will you? This isn't funny anymore. Okay. Oh, I 
swear, LA gets weirder every day. Now, where are those keys? Maybe I left them back in the studio? Oh, Scout wants to help. What a cutie. He must be around here somewhere. Dag! What was that? It sounded like it came from Blake's office. Location unlocked. Office. You now have access to the map. Press minus to open the map. Uh, oh, I see. I've got a, I've got a menu here. I've got a minus button. Okay, so it's, it is similar by the looks of things to how Ace Attorney works, where you can look at stuff with investigate and question people, and then go to locations. It, it looks very similar. Um, we'll see how we go, though. Becky? I thought I heard a scream. Are you okay? He's... He's... dead! <gasps> Blake! Oh no, Blake was murdered! I just came in and... and... I think... I think I'm gonna hurl! Hey, don't leave me in here on my own! Oh, hi, Oni, did I hear something? Oh my god, is that Blake? What happened? I don't know. I heard Becky scream and... Oh jeez, what are we gonna do? We're gonna stay calm, right? I can do that, but then what? What do we report this? Don't qualify for this. We're gonna check ID and operate the little gate, but not this. We have to call the police. No, we don't, Ono. We never have to call the police. They're bad. ACAB. Oh, yeah, good idea. Call the cops. They'll know what to do. They're professionals. No. No, Bill. Don't call the cops. You just wait here. They'll all be fine. But jeez, just seeing the blood there makes me feel all queasy. I... Oh. It keeps going ahead before I can catch up with it. <laughs> Bill! Right, yeah, please. Sorry, I'll go get help. Blake? Why? I mean, like, investigate? Episode 1. Show's over. And he was just lying there. Bloody hell. I'm sorry, Ona. No one should have to see that. I just don't get it. Who would want to hurt Blake? Is this everyone? All staff present are correct, sir. Well, everyone except Blake, on account of his being dead and all. Oh jeez, me and my big mouth again. Sorry, everyone. I just can't believe what's happened. We're looking like a family here, you know, and... Ahem. I'll take it from here, thanks. I'm detec Senior Detective Jerry Cross. I'll be leading the investigation to death of your showrunner, Blake. I realise this is a difficult time for everyone, but if you work with me, we can see that justice is served. First off, who found the body? Becky found the body. I came running when I heard her scream. He was dead when you found him? How should I know? I'm not a doctor. Becky, he's trying to help. Sorry, detective. She's obviously still in shock. And who are you exactly? I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. Ana Mizrahi. I'm an actress. Ana Mizrahi, huh? Well, I'll be. You've probably seen the show, Murder Mystery? I play Detective Oates. Of course he's seen it, or a smash hit. Yeah, that must be it. I'm Becky Cole. Uh, Becky Cole. <laughs> By the way, star of the show, and soon to be winner of this year's Starshine Award for Best Actress. Hopefully. Glad to meet you. Now what I need you to do is... An autograph? Of course. I'm gonna have to ask you for a small fee. I don't want your autograph, Miss Cole. I just want you to think about what you saw. You'll all have to submit statements after I've examined the crime scene. Do you need anything else until then, or can we go? I think we could all do with some time to process what's happened. Hold it. No one's going home. There's been a murder. 
I don't want anyone leaving this room until I've got the place secured. Understood? You're being cute, right? You can't lock us in here, there's no bathroom. Use a paper cup if you have to. I want to keep all of you in one place until I've got the facts straight. Listen, senior detective, I am not going in a cup. Where do you think we are? A frat party? Gross. What's your name? Casey LeBeau, award-winning hair and makeup artiste. Enchanted to meet you. I don't know how to do Casey's voice. Like, he's, he's probably got, you know, the... I, I can't do it. <laughs> Aren't you Brits? Oh, he's, oh, he's British. I need to sound more British. I didn't know he was British. <laughs> okay. Aren't you Brits supposed to be good at keeping things bottled up? Well, now's your chance. Any other questions? Who's that hiding in the corner? M me? I, I wasn't hiding. I got nothing to hide, Mr. Cross. Uh, I mean, Officer Cross. It's not Officer, it's Senior Detective. Who are you? What are you doing here? Right, right, Senior Detective. Got it. The name's Tully. Uh, I was just getting a drink when all hell broke loose, Senior Inspector Sir. Let me say it slowly so you can get it. Senior Detective. And I meant, what are you doing here in the studio? What's your job here? Oh, why didn't you say so? I'm a handyman by day, building water and model at night. I'm gonna be the next Schwarzenegger. I mean, it looks pretty strong. That's great. Hang on. It's great, I definitely wanna circle back around to this. But we still haven't solved my wee problem. God's sake, I'm not your baby sister, Miss Delabeau. The matter is closed. As for everyone else, I don't care if you're an actress, the next Schwarzenegger, or William goddamn Shatner. Thank god Shatner's not here. <laughs> you're all suspect until I say otherwise. You, security guy. Bill, wasn't it? Take me to the crime scene. Everyone else just sit tight while I do my job. What a jerk. Hey, cab. The real crime around here are those eyebrows. Somebody needs to pluck those girls before they get into a cat fight. I can't do a voice for KC, it's not working. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like him though. I suppose we're stuck here. So, Tully, let's talk about your bodybuilding. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> He's flirting. Several hours later. Ah, oh, come on already, let me out. Stop making so much noise, he obviously can't hear you. It's Friday night, I'm supposed to be at a party in like three hours. How am I supposed to get ready if I'm stuck in here with you losers? You realize Blake's dead, right? All you can think about is your stupid party? Just because Blake's dead doesn't mean my social life has to die too. Door unlocks. <laughs> it's about time, I thought you were ignoring me. I was. Would have kept it that way too, but I found this guy in a hallway over by the set. You got any other potential suspects wandering around that I should know about? You tell me. You're the detective. Maybe if your security guy had checked the place out properly, I wouldn't have to ask. John, you're gonna stay here until I say otherwise, got it? I yes, detective. Uh, hi, I'm John. John Redfin. Looks like you're stuck here with us now, John. You better not need the bathroom. Oh my god, you're... you're Miss Terry. Yeah, I know who I am, thanks. And you're Detective Oates. Wow, am I guest starring in a new episode or something? <laughs> oh, look, he's a fan. He's got the shirt and everything. That's adorable. Right, hilarious. Who are you again? Who are you again? Don't worry about her. She just she's just starved for attention. So are you a new crew member, or...? Me? Work on the show? I wish. No, I'm just a fan. Like, the biggest fan? I can't believe I'm actually talking to Becky Cole. This is amazing. A fan? Well, why didn't you say so? Why didn't you say so? It's always a pleasure to meet someone who appreciates my talent. I seriously can't even. Everyone on Usenet is gonna go nuts when I tell them about this. When is this show set? 
like some of the show. When is this game set? Like, Usenet hasn't been a thing in a while. But we have, like, levitating sapient robots. I'm not sure. <laughs> I feel like it's probably set a little bit in the past at least, but I'm not sure. Oh my god, it's one of those freaks from the internet. What if he's the killer? Killer? What are you talking about? Come on, Becky, you only just got here. We shouldn't be pointing fingers, just let the detective do his job. Do his job? We've been locked in here for hours. Why didn't I say it sooner? Honor did it. Excuse me? Could someone maybe explain what's going on? Think about it. She's the one who just got fired. What the what? You got fired? It happened right before this thing with Blake. I didn't know how to tell you. You don't need to be Miss Terry to realize that's one hell of a motive for murder. Don't you go throwing stones, Miss Glasshouse 1996. We all know you and Blake were fighting over your new contract. I... W I don't have to listen to this. Don't you walk away from me. Could someone please tell me what's happening? Everything's falling apart. I just wish I could do something instead of being stuck in here. If I could get out. Maybe I can help? I'm guessing it's Scout. Am I hearing voices? Maybe we really have been locked in here too long. It's Scout, yeah. Hello. You again? What are you doing here? Helping. Do you need me to find something? Killer, and it could be anyone in this room. Even you. No, not me. I just don't know how to prove that yet. Maybe that's how I can help. How do I know I can trust you? I don't even know what you are. Ask me anything you want. I'll try my best to answer. Okay, we can talk to Scout. Let's go. Uh, we can't go anywhere else because we're trapped in the break room. Hello, Detective Just and Actress. Please call me Honor. It's a pleasure to meet you, Honor. I am Scout. What would you like to know? First things first, what are you? Good question. Unfortunately, I don't have the answer. That's why I need a detective. You don't know anything about yourself? I know I am a robot. I'm equipped with radar and imaging camera and over 200 megabytes of storage. This is clearly set sometime in the past because that's not very much. So you're some kind of flying camera? Unclear. Most of my subroutines are corrupted, but many are for searching optical data and matching to known objects. However, most of my object database has been lost. That explains the tampon thing. How did you lose so much data? I don't know. My memory banks were severely deteriorated when I came online. Huh. Seems like you're quite the mystery, Scout. Where did you come from? Where did you come from? I was hiding underneath the table. I followed you inside. I didn't mean in here. I mean who made you? Ah, uh, I don't know. All that tech and a warranty card? But I hope you don't need any spare parts. Okay, let's work backwards. How did you get here? I was following the street when I saw it. Murder mystery, solving mysteries every Thursday. Billboard outside the studio. Do you solve mysteries on other days as well? I don't know if I can wait until Thursday. Oh, Scout, I love you. That's adorable. You said you were following the street. Where were you before? A bad place. There were broken electronics everywhere. No wonder I was damaged. You mean the scrap heap? Who would throw something like you away? That's what I want to find out. So, what do you want from me? I told you, I'm not a real detective. I understand. Perhaps you can help me find one? Scout, I've got my own problems. One of my friends is dead. Also, maybe you haven't noticed we're locked inside a break room. I can't help anyone right now. Then let me help you. I can find a way out of this room so you can prove your innocence. And then I'll be free to help you. 
It's logical, is it not? Can't argue with that. How do I know I can trust you? My friend is dead. For all I know, you could have killed him. I would never hurt anyone. I don't even know how. I only want to find out who I am. Hmm, I don't see any weapons on you. I guess you're safe? But I swear, if you go all hell nine thousand on me, we're through. <laughs> Cute. So, can you find me a way out of here? Sure, I'll do a quick scan. I found a way out. There's a gap in the wall. It's behind you. Approximately six feet, eight inches tall. That's the door, Scout. If I could get out that way, I wouldn't need your help. Sorry, my logic circuits are obviously still warming up. Give me a moment to make a more detailed scan. Oh, we can investigate, let's go. Use Scout's scanning mode to like an object of interest. Move your viewpoint with the left analog stick and A to scan when the cursor turns fully red. Oh, okay, I see. Interesting. It's very green. <laughs> oh, something over here. Aha, ventilation shaft. Puzzle start. Oh my goodness. Okay, what do we got here? Um... Doing a puzzle. I like to do puzzles sometimes. <laughs> If you get something wrong, like does it penalize you or what? I don't know. Some of these games, like if you make a mistake, it won't tell you. Other ones, it like gives you a time penalty or something. But there doesn't seem to be a timer in this game, so I'm not quite sure how it's gonna work. Probably do this faster, but I'm just, you know, doing things chill. Drawer of ventilation shaft, approximately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> That's kind of like a ventilation shaft. Event. Look how happy Scott is. What a cutie. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a timer or anything like that, so... I think I've located another way out. Could you verify that it's not another door? Oh, Scout baby. It's an air vent. That might actually work. Or at least it works in the movies. Only problem is it's sealed up with a metal cover. You don't happen to have a crowbar, do you? 
I don't think I have that feature. Worth a try. The cover seems to be held in place by four metal screws. It can probably be removed for access. Okay, so we need a screwdriver. I'm guessing you don't have one of those either. No, I'll be sure to bring it up with my creator if I ever find them. Um, what do you think you're doing? And what is that thing supposed to be? I am Scout. <laughs> Honor, are you really that desperate for friends? I always knew you were weird, but I didn't think it was this bad. Are you here to accuse me of murder again? I don't know what to think anymore. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. Ugh, what's taking that detective so long? You think someone his age would value time? For once, I agree with you. Scout found an air vent that leads out of the room. I'm gonna get out of here, out there, and prove I'm innocent. What? No way! I'm not letting you sneak out while I'm stuck in here. What are you gonna do? Tie me to a chair? If you so much as touch that air vent, I'm telling Detective Cross. You get fired, Blake dies, and you try and escape? You don't look so innocent to me. What if she's right? Escaping this room may not be the best option. Sometimes the best defense is a good offense, Scout, and we have to move fast. The longer we wait, the more time the killer has to cover their tracks. How do you know that? I picked up a thing or two over the years. Murder mysteries are always my favorite kind of story. So that's why you're an actress in a murder mystery show, that makes sense. I just never expected to be in one. Before we can get out of there, here, we have to find some way to distract Becky. Well, we can talk to her, or we can investigate some more. Let's have another look around. Is there something we can look at? Do, do, do. There's a vending machine. Also, a cup of coffee. Uh, so there's something around here. The microwave? Yes, it's the microwave, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see, we've got three there, so... Boop. Press there. <laughs> Music's pretty good. Oops. Okay, so if you make a mistake, it doesn't do anything. Fair enough. Um, I wasn't sure what would happen. What is that? Is that a- oh, it's a screwdriver! You found screwdriver! Was someone in the microwave? It's a bad place for a screwdriver. Oh no, I found something. My ontological database indicates it is some kind of tool, but all further data is damaged or missing. It's screwdriver, Scout. This is just what we needed. Hey, Tully, wasn't it? I'm guessing this is yours? Huh? What makes you think that? Well, because, I mean, you're a handyman, so... Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, do you mind if I borrow this? Mind? Why would I mind? I'll lend you a tool anytime you like. Ugh. Maybe after we get out of here, you and me could go grab a coffee? Scout, you've got a cattle prod attachment, now's the time. Well, you know where I'll be if you change your mind. Gross. Is there anything else to investigate? Uh, oh, there is. It's over here. Puzzle start. Ding, ding.
<laughs> oh my goodness. Show us this how the lyrics go. <laughs> what did we find? It's an apple, I think. Is that an apple? You found apple. Yeah. Case score goes up. Wonder what makes the detective rank go up. Do you think this could be useful to the investigation? I'll be honest, it seems unlikely that an apple is the smoking gun. A gun? Be careful, Honor! Guns are dangerous! No, Scout, it's, it's just a turn of phrase. It means the murder weapon or a vital clue. Oh. It's very confusing when humans say things that mean other things. I'm sure you'll catch on. Catch on to what? That was another one, wasn't it? Oh, that's adorable. Is there more stuff I can look at? Yes, there's more stuff. Uh... The floor? Maybe there's like something on the floor, like a stain? Go up, go Oh, rank E. Detective rank up. A new bonus puzzle is added to Scout's memory bank. Yay! What's this toy doing here? Hey, be careful with that. Don't you realize what you're holding? Some kind of action figure? Action figure? That's not an action figure. It's a Miss Terry figurine. And a rare one, too, I'm not mistaken. Huh, I thought it looked familiar. So I didn't recognize Becky without a scowl on her face. How come it's so valuable? Well, since you're interested, this particular figurine has a small but hilarious mistake. Take a look at the face. Do you notice anything? Aside from a strong urge to pull Becky's head off? No, no, the eyes are the wrong color. Isn't that funny? Like, how do you get the eyes the wrong color on Miss Terry? <laughs> I only made 200 before they noticed the problem, so they're very rare. I wonder how it got here. I've actually got another just right here. Just, just like it right here in my, in my... Wait, is that mine? You took it out of my bag, you're a thief! A, 
a safe? It was just lying here on the floor. On the floor? But it's worth hundreds of dollars. There are people out there that would kill to own this. This sounds relevant. Calm down, it's just a piece of plastic. Just a piece of plastic? Come on, John. Remember what Dr. F Fryerstein taught- Fr Fryerstein? Fryerstein taught you. I I'm sorry if I shouted. I just can't stand to see Prof's collectibles being abused, especially when they belong to me. Sorry, John. I really didn't know it was yours. You should probably take it back before I get any ideas about shoving plastic Becky here into the garbage disposal. No, no. Dr. Freestein says I have to learn to share. Besides, you are Detective Oates after all. I can't trust you. Who can I trust? <laughs> you, uh, you were kidding about the garbage disposal thing, right? Cute. Okay, that's all the things we can investigate, so let's talk to Becky. Press Y to show evidence collected by scout to suspects and prompt new re revelations. Ugh, what do you want? Uh, I guess I'll talk to her first. How are you holding up? <sighs> I'll be okay. No thanks to that idiot detective. I can't believe he's left us locked in here without any protection. What if the killer tries to finish off the rest of us? You think they'd be trying to lay low? How should I know? I'm not a murderer. Maybe not. On the other hand... What, that contract thing? Maybe stupid on it, that's just business. I'm not a suspect, I'm a, a victim of circumstance. Sounds like you don't think much of Detective Cross. He's so old, I thought real detectives were supposed to be cool and mysterious. The only thing mysterious about him is why he hasn't been retired yet. want detectives to be to be cool and attractive like uh honor here <laughs> are you really fine with blake about your contract i do not want to talk about it but you can can you believe these people i'm their biggest star and they can't even find a few thousand dollars for promotion i swear it's like they want the show to die this award season what are you smiling about nothing it's just i thought you didn't want to talk about it I didn't quite get that last little bit, but it's probably fine. If you really want to get out of here, you should let me go. The sooner I can prove I'm innocent, the sooner Detective Cross can concentrate on finding the real killer. Finding the real killer. No way! If I have to be stuck in here, then so do you. You're just mad because you're gonna miss your stupid party. Duh! It's a social event of the season! I'm supposed to be there in three hours! If I don't get out of here soon, everyone will be drunk by the time I get there. They won't even notice me arriving! Becky is quite... a Becky. <laughs> I like it. She's cute. You're more worried about getting to a party on time than about Blake. Don't you care at all? Of course I care. It's tragic. This isn't just any party. It's a Mitzi McCree party. Mitzi McCree. Mitzi McCree. I don't know what the pun is. I don't, I'm not sure there is one. Do you know how hard it is to get on a guest list? I've been trying for months. Not that you'd understand. You always get invited to those parties with your husband. Oops, sorry, ex-husband. Maybe now you're divorced, you'll finally see what it's like for people like me. You know, people who got where they are through hard work, not by marrying some rich guy. I audition like everybody else. Oh, sure, and who got you the audition in the first place? I still don't understand why you divorced him. If I had a guy who got me into Mitz McCree parties, I'd never give him up. She divorced him because she's gay. Calling it. That would be really cool. I hope that happened. <laughs> so, how does it feel to finally meet our biggest fan? Who, John? He's so pathetic. He's just trying to talk to me about poetry or some crap. That's why I want to hear poetry at a time like this. You think your biggest fan would know you are, you are interested in art? I am into art, but fashion is the art of the 90s, Honor. Okay, so it's, it's set in the 90s. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, so, so 200 megabytes would, would have been a large amount. Okay, yeah. Alright. And John is anything but fashionable. Okay, I've talked to her about everything. What can I show her? A car key? Definitely not a car key. Uh, I can show her the screwdriver. I can show her a figurine. I can show her the apple. 
I think probably the figurine is worth trying. I like how these little pixel art things are here that I found with the Picross puzzles. It's cute. Oh great, even more crappy merchandise. Is that the outfit from the Marching Band episode? Nope, it's the one with the alien bug cult. Ugh, I hated that episode. You know it took KC three hours to get all that green gunk out of my hair? Excuse me, Miss Cole, I couldn't help over here and I have to politely disagree. It wasn't just gunk, it was insect mucus, and it wasn't green, it was grey. I've seen it on VHS about a hundred times. <laughs> I don't care what colour it was, that crap was in my hair. Those details are very important, without a consistent world, the show would fall apart at the seams. Oh please, it's all made up anyway. As long as I'm there, people will keep watching. But the real fans value internal logic. You've got to construct a rich and consistent canon to build long-term viewership. John has a point, I care about these things. What the hell have cannons got to do with anything? <laughs> Ugh, I can't believe you're so ignorant. This is exactly what caused the show to go downhill last season. You ought to be ashamed of what you've done. Downhill? Are you crazy? I've never looked better. This isn't about you. Now I know you're crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that'll work for a distraction. I didn't know human faces could display that shade of red. John really cares about the show, huh? I almost feel bad for Becky. Almost. I think we have everything we need now, Honor. Are you ready to open the air vent? I'm ready as I'll ever be. You? I'm looking forward to exploring this ventilation system with you. You know, I can't tell if you're joking or not. I don't know if I'm capable of joking, Honor, but I would like to learn how. I love you, Scout. Wait, before we climb in, any idea where this vent goes? I don't want to end up in the furnace. I could try mapping the internal topography with active radar. I don't have a clue what that means, but if you think it'll help. Puzzle start. Let's go. Oops. Go back. The controls are a little fiddly. It's alright. These games are really best on a touch screen, and it doesn't work that way in this case, which is a shame. It's interesting, the Switch does have a touch screen, but I'm told that Murder by Numbers doesn't support the actual just support playing the game with the touch screen. I don't know why it should. Okay, we got a map. Ventilation map. Give me them points. Put them on my case score. <laughs> Mapping complete. The vent leads to another room of a similar size to this. Probably Blake's office. I didn't think I'd, he I'd be heading back there so soon. Should I look for another way out? No, I'm gonna find a way to prove I didn't kill him. His office is the best place to start. I just hope we don't run into Detective Cross when we get there. This vent looks pretty tight. You sure we're not gonna get stuck in there? Don't worry, Honor. My sensors have already measured your body and... You did what? I took approximate measurements of your body. Compared to the diameter of the ventilation shaft, it's unlikely you'll become stuck. Did I do something bad? Scout, you can't do that kind of thing without asking. Sorry, Honor. I didn't realize. Oh, Scout. Precious baby. How about you just delete those measurements and pretend this never happened? What measurements? Hey, you can make jokes. Come on, let's get in that vent before I start having second thoughts. Air vent is open. They climb inside. I guess we'll be in Blake's office now. We're coming up on about an hour, so I might do one more pick cross and no sign of Detective Cross. Wait, is his name Detective Cross because these are called pick cross puzzles? Is that what's happening? I bet it is. What's the plan now? No sign of Detective Cross. What's the plan now? Good question. 
but I'll find whoever did this to you, Blake. I'll make sure. Scout, can you see anything? I can currently see 432 objects. Can you be more specific, or should I scan them all individually? No, I mean, can you see anything that might shed some light on what happened? And before you say anything, I don't mean the desk lamp. Understood. I'll scan the room. Okay, let's have a quick look around. I really love how, how she looks on the poster. It's adorable. Becky is actually very cute. I like her design. Honest cuter, though. That's all start. Okay, so yeah, I'll do this one, then I'll probably wrap up with some thoughts. Uh... This one's actually quite a bit harder than the previous ones, which is interesting. It's actually these two as well. Makes it a bit easier, actually. Uh, da -da -da. these three. And then that one. Like that. Seven, there we go. I'm using the D-pad, you can use the left stick, but the D-pad's a lot smoother. This sort of game. Because you're moving around a grid, you get precision. Oh, something's wrong here. Okay, wrong. There we go. <laughs> It'll be fine. Medical report. Oh, that sounds relevant. Puzzle points. This is the medical examiner's report. Detective Cross must have called someone in to check the body. We use these in murder mystery and we need to know the basics about a murder. You know, cause of death, time of death. People were murdered on your TV show? Well, yeah, it's literally in the title. I didn't realise. I thought you said you were innocent. No one actually dies on the show, Scout. They're just acting. Acting? Ah, uh, I see. The show wasn't real. You're just pretending to be an actress. No, I... Uh, I don't have time to explain this right now. Give me a minute to read this report. Cause of death. Blunt force trauma to the head. Just like the detective said. 
time of approximately 4.30 p.m. Where was I at 4.30 p.m.? According to my internal chronometer, that's when we met in the parking lot. Of course, Scout, I think I just found my alibi. Ms. Mizrahi, what are you doing in here? Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> uh, I think I'll throw down a save and have a quick look at some of these other options. Oh, it does auto-save, cool. Okay, so Scout's Memories is just a bunch of extra puzzles by the looks of things. That's cool. I, I imagine this will unlock some backstory about Scout as you do it. Uh, turn the title. Yeah, so you can go load game, load the files you're playing. You can probably go new and pick a different case, like an Ace Attorney, once you've unlocked them. Scout's Memories is, yeah. So it's that screen. Okay, uh, let's go help. Just for completeness. Okay, so it explains how to do the puzzles. Detective rank. Okay, cool. Um, so I think I'm probably about done for this video. Um. I'm really hyped about this game. <laughs> um, I really, really like this kind of puzzle, and I love Ace Attorney, I think you might have noticed. And this seems like a really great combination, and you're playing as a cute lady and a cute, cute robot. And that, I think that's a good combination. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be playing more of this on camera, or if I'll just do it off camera, but... Um, that's my first thoughts, I suppose. I like this game a lot. I do wish the touchscreen worked. Like, I couldn't record that anyway because I'd need to take the Switch out of the dock and then I couldn't record the video from it. But yeah, the touchscreen does not work for this game, which is a weird decision because... Yeah, it, it's a game about messing around with a grid of, of tiles and stuff. And I, I've played the Picross games on the 3DS and that has the touchscreen and it, it just makes sense like that. Um... So yeah, it's, it's weird that the touchscreen doesn't work in this game. They might patch that. Um, like, I think this is released fairly recently, so it's possible they'll do an update or something and make that work. Um, but for the moment it doesn't, but it's not a big deal. Um, like, it's not, there's no time limit, so the fact that you have to go, like, space by space with the D-pad and you're a bit slower doesn't really affect things. There's no time bonuses or anything. Um, so that's good. Um, and yeah, I, I like this game, and I'm looking forward to playing more of it, finding out who did done the murder. <laughs> and yeah, Scout is cute, and Honor is cute, and Becky is cute too, and KC is cute. All of, all of the all of the queer characters are cute. Becky's not queer, I'm pretty sure, but Honor totally is, and Scout is like a non-binary robot or whatever. And yeah. <laughs> and and yeah, KC is definitely gay, so that's adorable. Um, thanks for watching. Um, Scout has a cassette deck on the front. You can see um next to the arms. There's that's like a, a compact cassette, like an audio cassette. Possibly it's data because a lot of computers back then stored data on like audio cassettes. Um. I'm wondering what the thing underneath is. Like, it looks a bit like a disk drive, but I feel like this is too far back for it to be a disk drive, in terms of the setting. Hmm. And it also looks like maybe a laptop or something, like a folding piece. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway. Hmm. Thanks for watching. You can hear I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna head to bed now. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope this game looks as cool to you as it does to me from what we've seen so far. Um, although of course if you don't enjoy doing nonogram puzzles then this is not your game because it's a game about doing nonogram puzzles. But I like them. <laughs> uh, I might have a quick look at one of these and see if they are different. Okay no they're, they're exactly the same. I, I thought it might be like these ones have a time limit because they're harder or something but no they're identical. Actually that one's very easy. I might just do this just 
before I finish. This is not hard at all. <laughs> You found the coffee cup. Oh, okay, and you unlock the memory once you've done all of these. I'm guessing there are 12 of them. And these four memories probably tell you where Scout is from and stuff like that. Hypotheticals, priorities, access denied, missing data, yeah. And I'm guessing you have to do each of the cases to unlock more puzzles. Yeah, so you get up to S rank and that unlocks all of it. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! And yeah, the music is so Ace Attorney, it's great. Because I, I think it actually did say, if you look at the... Yeah, it's from the composer who worked on Ace Attorney, so... Naturally, it's gonna sound very similar. <laughs> anyway, I'm Hype. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you like the look of this game as much as I do. Cool beans. Bye!